So hello YouTube, my name is VladFravel.com and today I went in Zagreb, I went to flea market which is called Hrelic and I got these couple of things and believe it or not this was one dollar and this was one dollar as well. Now this is actually a very, very neat um, switch from Planet and it is quite sturdy one and although it is 100 megabits it is still a good switch for one dollar definitely. So this is actually quite nice find. But what I wanted to show is actually this. Now this was a dollar twenty-five dollar, I don't know, as well. And this is RDX, which is actually something that was made to replace all the tape drives there are. Now I do actually have a, a tape drive and well tape as well. Okay, so I do have this tape drive, which is uh, well actually it's four hundred megabytes. It is eight hundred compressed, but still an impressive piece of technology, and it's actually rather fast. But I did find this and uh, the guy thought it was a tape and he sold me for a for dollar twenty-five or something like that. Now this was actually uh, developed by Pro Store Systems in 2004 and developed, okay, uh, and it was later purchased by Tantberg, Tantberg Data or something like that, I'm not quite sure. And as you can see this actually looks... Uh, well, quite nice, so nothing has been written on this and uh, there is a well, limited warranty, I guess there always is one. And this is actually a hard drive. Now there might be a, some Toshiba or something inside. As you can see this is actually a classic SATA connector, so let me show you the drive itself. So basically you have uh, here uh, the title which is disk one. Gerade Gerad. I'm not quite sure what that actually stands for, but I will be um, well seeing what's on the drive and whether it is functional or not. And uh, okay, so on the rear you have a uh, well information which says removable hard disk cartridge made in Philippines. So this is a serial number and it is made in 2012. And again, it is 160 gigabytes, so it's not that well, it's not that great and it's not that big, but I believe you can actually replace the drive. I believe this is just a standard laptop drive. So yeah, let's open it. And basically this was uh, advertised as a very shockproof drive and uh, I believe they advertised that it can fall from like one meter which is I believe 13, 39, 40 inches, something like that. So uh, let's open it and uh, let's take a look at the uh, drive itself. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I was actually oh, this is actually sticky. So yeah, I was actually right. And as you can see, this is some uh, rubber. I guess that uh, gives you the, that shock proofness, I suppose. And uh, shock proofness is that a word? And yeah, this is actually googled, and this is uh, the eight. Uh, megabytes uh, of cache I believe and uh, 160 uh, gigabytes hard drive so uh, let's connect this thing to my uh, laptop and see whether this thing actually has something on it or not and whether it is functional or not the Toshibas that are not in well these kind of things usually tend to break well at least the European Croatian ones they're actually quite shitty but uh, this one might actually be uh, well okay so yeah, let's test it and let's see what's inside. Whether I invested my dollar uh, in a good way or well, I kind of invested it in a faulty drive. So yeah, let's test it. Let's hook this thing up and let's see whether this thing actually works or not. So this I believe is actually well a standard SATA drive. So I will need to connect the power because this um, does usually need more power but it does seem to be well spinning I don't know whether you can hear it or not but yeah so let's see all right so yeah so far so good yet nothing is showing Okay, let's take a look at the device manager. So this is actually detected 
without any issue, but yet no drive letter appears. Okay, let's manage. Maybe this thing has some kind of Linux on it or something like that. Hmm. So at the moment I'm installing uh, well support for reading Linux uh, partitions. So we'll be restarting the computer and seeing whether this thing actually well makes some sense or not. Now I did try it on my Mac and. Uh, it's not working. So let's see whether this thing is a Linux partition or, well, or well, well, whether somebody wiped it or not. And you know what? If, uh, if this is actually a Windows partition, I'll be trying data recovery just to see what was on it. I'm kind of curious at the moment. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, so no, no drive letter still. Okay, let's see whether I can see something and manage. I don't actually believe that this is the brand new hard drive, so... You know what? I will be... Uh, I will be downloading HD Sentinel and seeing whether this thing is actually new hard drive or not. So here, yeah, let's see that. So, nothing is recognized. I am assuming that the hard drive is faulty, so... Well, there goes one dollar in vain, I suppose. All for nothing. Okay, there you have it. And as I have stated before, Toshiba actually... Oh no! No way! So yes, this hard drive has been used for 818 days and it is in perfect condition. Interesting. So why can I not initialize it? Maybe there, there is something wrong with my USB 3.0. Interesting. Let's make it offline. I cannot. I will be trying to change the uh, the controller I'm using. Uh, I do have somewhere USB 2.0, I believe. So I'll be trying to use that. Okay, so attempt, uh, well, number three, I believe. Or number two, not quite sure. So let's try this one. Okay, this one is actually recognized quite fast, quite uh, faster. Zero bytes. It should be 149 gigabytes. Okay, let's refresh it and let's try to initialize the drive. But it's still kind of slow. So, okay, let's try to unhook it one more time and to rehook it. So obviously this is working just fine. However. I guess the drive itself is faulty, which brings me to the conclusion that I was actually right, that Toshiba's just tend to fail. So yeah. Okay, you know what? I'll try this thing with my Windows 7 and, and or my Windows XP and or my Linux. If I, and if I do make it work, I will be, uh, well, recording some more. And if not, this is the... Uh, well, RDX format um, in all its glory, so yeah, Toshiba's. Now bear in mind, uh, Smart did say that this thing worked for 818 days, so this Toshiba was online for like 5 years. Now bear in mind that this hard drive, since it is a backup hard drive, and since uh, you do actually get here disk 1, so this, this was not working 24-7, well, at least I believe it was not. So this was online for five years, which is actually not that bad, especially for Toshiba's. Um, so yeah, uh, interesting format. I do believe that it shouldn't been uh, well patented or whatnot because it is a hard drive in a bloody case. But yeah, interesting. Well, have a good day. If you like this video, like. If you do not, well, you know what to do. Have a good day. Bye. So, uh, yeah, it's not working, however, let's, uh, let's use Toshiba, and yeah, that's a fail. Okay, the hard drive under test is defective, fail. Okay, delete all what not. Enter. 
so yeah this hard drive is pretty toasted so that sucks well anyway that is pretty much it okay right zero stall sectors so let's see whether this thing will work yeah this thing is not working bye